Today I have a shootout for you, and the shootout is a comparison of a few different methods of recording guitar direct. It's on a blues rock track. So today we're using the HX Stomp, we're using the Sanzamp GT2, and we're using the Torpedo Captor with a Blues Junior 3. I think that in general the direct recording methods that I have are actually really pretty good and I've been using them a lot recently on a lot of like louder rock tracks, louder metal tracks and I think that works really well. But I think on more ambient tracks or tracks on which the guitar is very touchy and subtle, I think they don't work quite as well and that has led me to go back to recording cabs more often than I've been doing over the last few months. This is a topic that I haven't seen talked about very much on other channels, so I thought I would bring it to your attention. And especially if you're the type of guitarist that likes recording ambient tracks, and you're looking at direct recording methods, this video might be very useful for you. So one of the things that led me to write this track is that I've seen with, with direct recording methods, playing a subtle way tends to get annoying in terms of the amount of string noise. Basically what I noticed is that playing softly and subtly with most direct recording methods really brings up the little string noises, the little noises of guitars that you usually don't hear, but that when you play subtly are really brought out in a sort of unnatural way in a lot of direct recording methods. So I wrote this track partly in an effort to sort of understand which of the direct recording methods I have bring out that string noise the most. And also to compare it to how much those string noises were present when recording a real cab. Thanks very much for watching my video today. If you enjoyed it, or if you got something out of it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos on music and home recording, subscribe to my channel. Cheers. Have a good one.